A preposition of direction describes how, where, or in what way someone or something moves or is being moved. We have 17 prepositions of movement or direction. Let's have from to begin with. By the way, our example sentences in this video contain underlined phrases. Those phrases are called prepositional phrases. The bolded words are the prepositions and the nouns, pronouns, or noun phrases that come after them are their objects called the object of preposition. From describes a movement that has a specific origin, meaning it states from which place it came. Example, mom walks to the mall from the public market. My cat jumps in my bed from his spot. 2. Two describes a movement to a specific destination. Example, we're all going to the park. Dad is heading to the convenience store. Into. It describes a movement that ends inside something. For example, I was walking into my room when I slipped. Anita is always scared to jump into the water. Onto. Onto describes a movement that ends on the top or surface of something. For example, Sabrina walked onto the stage when her name got called. The lizard fell onto the table. Up. Up describes a movement heading up. Examples. The puppy tries to climb up the stairs. Or a bird flew up the sky earlier today. Down. Down describes a movement heading down. For example, my puppy rolled down the stairs. The ant struggles to crawl down its house. Through. Through describes a movement from one side to another in an enclosed space. For example, the train will go through a tunnel before we reach our destination. The needle got stuck through his veins. Off. Off describes a movement away from something. For example, Brent took the hat off his head. The waiter took the wine bottle off the table immediately after we finished. Away from Describes a movement heading away from something. For example, stay away from this house. Please take this food away from the table. Toward or towards Describes a movement heading closer to something. For example, my daughter walks toward or towards her dad every time he stands at the door. The plane is moving toward or towards Belmington Coast. Out of. Out of describes a movement ending outside of something. For example, our teacher always walks out of the classroom when she is angry. She appeared out of nowhere. Across. Across describes a movement from one spot to another. For example, both of them took a boat across the lake. The candidates must be in heels while walking across the stage. Along. It describes a movement on a straight line or edge. For example, the students in this town have to walk along this pile of hollow blocks to get to school. Just go along that corner and you'll reach the printer. Around. Around describes a movement in a circular direction. For example, coach told us to run around the campus oval. We had to roam around the house to find the scissors. Underneath or beneath. Underneath or beneath describe a movement lower than something. For example, we quickly crawled underneath or beneath the table when we felt the earthquake. My cat always plays underneath or beneath my bed. Over. Over describes a movement higher and across something else. For example, I felt like the plane flew over my head. My dog walked over my tummy while I was trying to nap. Above. Above describes a movement to a spot higher than something else. This has little to no difference with over. But yes, there are times they can't be used interchangeably. For example, plane 1 tried to fly above plane 2. 
Dmitri attempted to increase his score above mine.